Okay, guys, today Motor Car Nut here. We're gonna uh, address an issue of a cranks, but no start. All right, I have five things to check, and we're gonna, um, I'll show you what it sounds like. You put the key in the ignition, crank it. Okay, all right, so now you know that the battery's good, all your electrical inside is on, that's good, but it's still not starting. Okay, uh, if it's crank cranking really slow, then you know you have to check the battery. All right, you can check it with a voltmeter, negative to negative, positive to positive, and you check your voltmeter. And this one says 12.6. Anything over 12.5 uh, is good. So we know it's not the battery. Okay, the next thing is going to probably be a fuel pressure uh, check or fuel issue. Uh, you want to make sure that you have fuel in the tank. That's number one. All right, you have, may have a broken fuel gauge and you won't realize you don't have no fuel. That's a possibility. Easy things first. Um, then uh, a bad uh, clogged fuel filter. Um, it's possible to be a bad fuel filter. Okay, and if not, you're gonna have to check the fuel pressure. A lot of cars, all different types. The fuel pressure on, on a Chrysler right here, you would have to tap in here. And whatever the, um, um, when you turn the key, the fuel pump, pressurizes the system, whatever it's supposed to be, you know your numbers, let's say if it's supposed to be 40 PSI, then and it's only 10, then you know you have a fuel issue, okay? So the fuel system has to be checked, that's the number two. Or it can be, uh, you could check the fuel pump relay. You'll look in the, in the, in the schedule of, on the uh, cover here. A lot of times it tells you here, or if not in the owner's manual, what fuse to check for a fuel pump a uh, relay or a fuel pump fuse. And you look for them here and here and make sure they're not blown, all right? Now, if, you, if, it, if it's a relay, as long as you see these two relays, you can take a fan relay and switch it to the fuel pump relay. As long as the numbers match, it says exactly the same relay, and you could just switch it to see if the car will start then because, you know, you know that both relays won't be bad, and that's a good, good way to... Um, check if it's the relay instead of just buying the relay okay number three is the ignition system uh, if your car has an ignition coil like this one here coil pack um, you could you have to you can check that uh, the wiring to it make sure um, uh, well if you don't know I mean it's not that easy to check these things but there is uh, secondary and primary resistance you can check with an ohm meter and that, that's number one. Number two could be the, the spark plugs. Or even with the coil, a good way to do it is to use a spark test or something like this. You set it at the proper gap for your, for your vehicle. All right, you plug. You take the spark plug wire off the spark plug. You plug it in here. You plug it in here. And then you ground this to a ground, like right here. All right, and the spark plug wire is here and you have somebody crank it over and see if you see a spark. Do that to all the cylinders. If they all spark, then you, and the spark is like a nice blue, then you pretty much know it's not the coil, okay? It could be a bad spark plug. Okay, and number four, it could be uh, low compression, which is not likely, it all depends on the scenario. I mean, if you came out in the morning and all of a sudden your car is not starting like, has the crank and no start, probably not going to just lose compression overnight unless the valve timing jumped uh, the timing belt jumped or the timing chain jumped when you shut it off at night that's very possible if you don't maintain your car um, you're gonna need a compression gauge like this you can check the cylinders I have a video on how to check compression okay you would take the spark plugs out and you would thread this in and you would have an assistant crank the car and you would watch the gauge I have the video you can watch that and number five it could be a computer or the valve timing jump. Now, you know, that's highly unlikely, but it can happen. Uh, like I said, if, if you um, had just started, if the car just started the night before when you shut it off, if the, uh, if the timing belt or the valve or the uh, timing chain was not maintained, it's very possible it can jump. As soon as you shut it off, and now when you crank it, it doesn't want to start. It's very possible, but that's the least 
you know, of the problems, especially if the car's cranking. Da, 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 da. That's more, if it's just like, like an electric engine, then you know you have no compression and the timing jump. Or the computer, like I said, the computer is last, computers hardly ever go. Okay, unless you jumped your car trying to get it going and you crossed the wires and fried the computer, but again, that's highly unlikely. All right, guys, Motor Car Nut, please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions in the bottom, leave them, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.